Hi everyone, to anyone who's looking to buy a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, the wireless version with the Bluetooth, don't buy this. It has only 512 megabytes of RAM and some very old uh, chip that barely works. Like, I wouldn't even use it for any of my projects. I know many people buy this, but honestly, if you run Linux on it, it's very laggy, it struggles with most things. Don't even think about the GUI. Um, like, it's just a very small board. It's, it's very laggy. It can work for small projects, however, there's a much better alternative. The Orange Pi here. Uh, like you have the 2 gigabyte and 4 gigabyte version. This board, if you buy it, it can run Linux, it can run Ubuntu, Debian, and uh, the chip is much more stronger. This all winner H618 runs much better than the Raspberry Pi one. I have one of those, I run a Docker server on it and I try to run Plex, but I hate Plex because of their subscription garbage. Uh, but still, this board, it has the same size as the Raspberry Pi, and you get much, much more. So, really, I'm not going to bore you with any rant, but, you know, it's just $5 more than the Raspberry Pi. They often come in discounts. Um, this board is better. It runs better. Any benchmark, if you put it into ChatGPT, it will show you that this board is much better. The only advantage of the Raspberry Pi is it has a very large community but even that's changing anything that the Pi can run the Orange Pi can run and it can do better unless you have something really weird that requires some specific drivers and you're not a techie person and you need something very very specific mm, you know but yeah even if you do that if you actually get either of those boards you you know you're going to the same rabbit hole you're gonna need to do some work bo on both of them you know just take the drivers you have from the raspberry pi and put it onto this one yeah so i recommend you buy this one i'll put some links in the description there are other alternatives but these boards are really they look extremely similar and this one is just better Okay, real quick, let's look at what uh, DeepSeek is saying about the Raspberry Pi versus the Orange Pi. Um, why should you buy the Orange Pi, basically? You know, dramatically more RAM. You know, you can get the 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes version. You know, the limited 512, I already said this. This is like the major reason why I prefer the Orange Pi. Okay. We have superior connectivity, features a fast USB 3 port, uh, which is a game changer for external storage, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no problem. Modern wireless equipped, dual band Wi-Fi wi 5, Bluetooth 5. Okay, the Orange Pi has a bit of a tech upgrade here. The Raspberry Pi has Wi-Fi 4, Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, better media performance. Honestly, this one, the 4K, I have seen the Orange Pi uh, work on a 4K monitor, however, it's not perfect. This is not perfect. At home, I have a 2K monitor. It works all right. It works all right. I haven't tried it in 60 frames, but for a normal YouTube video, I tried one of those stock ones. This can work, but really, I wouldn't use it for that. Uh, there's another Orange Pi which can do it better. Uh, the Orange Pi 5 uh, Max does it beautifully, but I think at that level maybe the Raspberry Pi can also do it, but it's still jittery. Uh, no adapters needed. Okay, you have the full-size HDMI port, USB-C port, uh, more modern chipset. Yeah, again, the, the chipset. Basically, it's a better CPU. Anyway, don't buy the Pi. Don't buy the Raspberry Pi. Buy the Orange Pi. Everything will be okay. In the future, once uh, once I return to my uh, location, I will show you guys maybe some projects with the Orange Pi. If I have time, I just normally don't have time to record YouTube videos. This one was inspired by uh, some talk on Reddit that I recently had. You know, we were discussing different kinds of boards and 
uh, two people had a bunch of problems with their Raspberry Pi 2W and they didn't want to move from the Pi because basically uh, you know the Raspberry Pi has a good ecosystem a lot of support and you know they're afraid maybe oh the the screens will not work the LCD screens but uh, those guys uh, you know they're willing to try and one of them actually managed to connect a lot of the Pi accessories to the Orange Pi when I say Pi I mean Raspberry Pi so anyway you know good luck guys with all your projects I know this is not a very impressive video I'm kind of lazy to do it this is just like a ranting video in a way but yeah the Orange Pi is much better in my opinion see you